What's up, guys? Pete, prankmania.com. Hope you guys are doing good. I um, want to update you a little bit on the hip. Everything with my injury is uh, getting better. I'm seeing a lot of progression. Uh, I do feel pain still, but it's not as tight as it used to be, so it's starting to, to unwind and everything's starting to get better. Um, is it going to be soon? No. I feel the progression is going to take a long time, and I feel that um, as long as I got that pinching pain, it's still going to be there regardless. But what I did realize is that by me taking it down a notch and moving through and accepting the fact that I was injured and accepting the fact that this shit did hurt and still does, but I took my time to take off and reprogram myself so I don't um, mess it up any more than it already uh, is and or was. Um, and that's the main reason I, I dropped out a lot of a lot of my mud runs and a lot of the, the events that I was going to do. I dropped my ego, put it down for the side, fucking spazzed out my crazy brain and was like, I gotta take a step back because in the long run, what I'm doing what I was doing to myself is not going to help me, it's going to make me worse. And that's where you gotta take a step back. And a lot of us are tired or scared tired. We're scared to step back and look at ourselves from a different view, like, wow you're limping around and you really shouldn't be because you really don't do much except for workout. You know what I mean? And um, me really realizing that was probably the better thing for me to do. Taking a step back and having you guys to call me out all the time to tell me, it's like, oh, all right, um, you shouldn't be working out because you told us you wouldn't and I wouldn't work out hard or especially do movements I shouldn't because, um, because of you guys. I actually feel like uh, I'll be cheating on you guys. It's probably the same way you feel when if you come to a restaurant and I show up or I'm there with you, it feels weird to eat, you know, pretty shitty because, you know, I'm right in front of you. And it, I, I know that. I know that feeling. And I, I understand what it feels like to, to be self-conscious at that time. Because, um, like, oh, shit, pizza here. I really can't eat pizza today. But I might eat pizza with you, so... That's why I really don't go out to eat with you guys too much. Just so you know, I don't want to be uncomfortable. I want you guys to enjoy yourselves sometimes. Not always be around me and join you at dinner and then make everything comfortable. It's like, I'll just have salad and vinegar. I'm like, you don't want a salad and vinegar. You want a chicken parm sandwich. Because I would get a chicken parm sandwich. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes you gotta, you got to look at... I always think about life and you always got to look at it from a different view. You got to open it up. And a lot of times what we do is we have... We have fear. We have fear of change. We're, we're scared to change what we're doing because we're scared things will change. And most successes in the world are derived from change. You change something so it gets better. Does it automatically get better? No, it's a slow progression. It's, it takes time for it to get better. But time always heals everything. And um, by me learning that, I'm, I'm hopefully feeling going to feel 10 times better within the next three months, four months, six months, whatever it's going to take me to do. And I won't do any events, and I won't do any crazy workouts, and I'm just going to do what I can do, um, maybe make up my own weird crazy workouts for the time being. But you guys step back. Look at life from a different view. Don't be scared. Don't fear the change. You know, if there's change that you know is good for you, make that change. Whether it be your work, whether it be your working out, whether it be your life, I don't know what it is. Whatever's going to make you a better person. Because at the end of the day, you got to love yourself before you love anything else. And if you don't open up the world to love yourself, and if you don't appreciate what you're doing for yourself, and um, actually just being selfish for a little bit, and just feeling the passion and knowing everything that you, you, you love to do, if you can't do that for yourself, how are you going to give that to someone else? It was a thought that I had today, and... Uh, Hope wasn't too, too much. And my face looks sleepy. But I'm still handsome. I'll see you later. Pete, crankomania.com.